Okay, let's select everything and create, for example, an object like a UV sphere. And let's put some particles. Let's click here and click here. If we press spacebar, now we have an object making particles. Perfect. I don't want them to fall. I want them to float. So let's go to a scene and switch off gravity. And now we have some particles floating. Perfect. However, their life is really short. So let's increase the life. So let's go to particles and increase lifetime until the end, 250, until here, perfect. And also I want to increase the moment that finish emitting particles. So I want all the time generating particles, perfect. Now let's make this smaller with S and let's make this follow some path. So let's create, for example, let's go to add, cure. If you don't have all this, just go to edit, preference, add-ons and tap here, add, Curve, click here, add curve extra objects. If you activate this, you will have more options to add to curve. So for example, let's put something like that, just to practice. Now let's go here and increase this. For example, let's put some more turns. This is the resolution, as you can see. And let's make, for example, a bit smaller and more radius, something like that, just to practice. Okay, let's go to object mode. And now let's make this object follow this path. So it's really easy. Click on the object and go to constraints here and put follow path. And here you have to define the target. So click here and just select the only curve. And now we have the object in the beginning of the path. And to animate this, just click on the path and go here. and go to path animation and if you increase this look we can animate our object following the path from 0 to 100 so let's create some keyframes i go to the beginning i click here or you can just press i and now i go to the end and i put 100 and i press i And if I press spacebar, we have an object following a path where it creates a lot of particles. Cool. Now let's change the particles for some objects. So let's go to create another object like a UV sphere. And this will be our particle. So let me go to the beginning and let's put some materials. So let's go here. And for example, let's create a material. I want to put some emission. So let's go to emission and increase this number. To see the glow, just go here and switch on bloom. Perfect. And I want another color. So here you can put any color, for example, blue. Let's make this smaller and put it here. And now click on the object that have the particles, go to particle, to render, and switch between halo and object. And here just select the object that we create, this one. And now if we press play, our object have these particles. However, they are really small, so we can increase the size. Just, for example, go into particle system. Let me change this and put particles. And let's go to render a scale here. If you increase the scale, you can make the particles bigger. Not too much, something like that. Also, you can hide this, just clicking and go here and hide it from viewport and render. Other tips, let's hide the emitter. So let's go to render here, show emitter and in viewport too. Where, where is the viewport? Here. So now we have only the particles. If you want to increase the number, just go here in emission and increase the number, for example, 10,000. And if you want to concentrate them, just go to velocity and put less. For example, zero or smaller. No, a bit more. Let me check something. Okay, let's concentrate more because the object is still big. So let's make a smaller, something like that. And now we have this. Okay, let's increase the velocity a bit. 
so they spread more okay perfect now now we start to to be really cool well let's make them die because if not there are too much particles so let's put some lifetime of for example 50 now now it's better perfect so you created your first particle system following a path you can concentrate them more if you go to physics here and just put some dam. This is like a force that has some friction with the air, for example. As you can see now, they cannot move too much because it's like a, a force that is pushing the particles in the same spot. So you can increase this or just put a bit small and more velocity. Just play with velocity, dam. And find some values that you like and enjoy. Also, you can put some random life that it's much better. So let's increase this to one. So they are not so perfect. Look, the difference. Now looks better. At any moment, you can change the path. For example, you can go to edit mode, delete this, press A, delete everything. And also you can draw, for example, a path. And now just go to the beginning and look, it's following the same path. So it's really easy to make the object following any path. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can subscribe, give a like, and also you will have this project in my pattern. So see you in the next video.